Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is about your home, about your house. The enemy is going mad because you stay clean. You stay clean. You know, they don't even want physical cleanliness, talk less of spiritual cleanliness. They don't even want anyone. Physically, you stay clean. Spiritually, you stay clean. Eh, stay clean. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. <laughs> you know, they don't want us, they don't want you to go up. They are, they are mad. They don't want you to get up and go up. They don't want you to get up and go up. The Bible says, Ye shall be the head, not the tail. So when you get up, you go up. You understand? So <laughs> they don't want you to get up. They want you to get up and feel depressed. And feel like, oh, my home, my even the physical. God is interested in all. They don't want you to clean up. Child of God, clean up all. <laughs> clean up. <laughs> clean up all because the devil loves dirtiness, you know. Do what, you know, that is why I don't, as long as the person is covered, you know, like, not that the dressing is for the devil. As long as the person is covered in a decent way, I admire it. <clears throat> if you have good clothes, put it on. It is vanity upon vanity. Yes, God bless us with a beautiful vanity. Even if it is one you have, clean it up and rewear it. Iron it and wear it. Spray some perf. Let the devil be mad. Because you will not be tattered. You will not be tattered. They are trying to monitor your home. They are trying to monitor your home. Your life as well is a home. It's your home. You understand? It's where your body, your soul, your spirit dwells in. Right? Your heart. Everything. is a bo Your body is like a home. You understand? So they don't want it to stay clean. They get mad whenever you feel clean. <laughs> that is why I love some women who... They love to take themselves out. They just dress up and they just go out and they just, maybe they, the, the ones that know how to do makeup, they just do fine makeup. They do their fine nails. They do, you know, it makes them feel confidence. And the devil is that kind of person that want, is that kind of evil personality that wants us not to have confidence in ourselves. So <laughs> if what you do makes you confidence, and it is to the glory of God. It makes you feel comfortable. You do it. Cleaning up your home. If that what if, if that is what makes you happy, you clean it up. If you want to you you relax after you have worked for the day, you sleep, is what makes you happy. <laughs> you sleep. The devil don't want us to rest, but God is giving us rest. God, even our system, they don't want it to be cleaned up. They want everything messed up. <laughs> they, they want everything messed up. The devil is a loser. Mm -hmm. They want everything messed up. Eyes are focused on your home. Eyes are focused on your body. Eyes are focused on everything that you do. Why? Because the devil is dirty. You know, they want to put so many believers in the place of you know, in the place of depression. I was watching something, I think about a few days ago, a few weeks ago, I can't really remember when. So I was, I was watching this lady, and they said the lady, the lady was depressed. You understand? So the lady was depressed, and she started eating uh, like junk, uh, all these uh, chips from the supermarket, potato chips, different kinds of canned juice, uh, canned drinks and all of that. And she would just go by, drink it, everything, drink, 
The whole house was filled with a can. There was no space in the room anymore. He, she does not throw them away. She just buy. And a beautiful lady. A beautiful lady. People were saying, ah, depression is very bad. Oh, look at how I said this one. This woman is a great destiny. The devil is after her. They don't want her to see her, her what in her life. I was looking at the woman, the woman, very beautiful, very, very beautiful blonde hair woman like this. She's a bit, uh, she has a little bit choppy body. And with all the things she's eating, eating, she was not adding weight. They want to ruin her life. Because they know when she when she start eating all those things, she become very fat. She will hate her body. Then she will not want to go outside again. The enemy does not want her to clean up. I'm like, I wish this woman can see somebody to preach to her. For her to see the value in her. Child of God, you have the opportunity to hear now. Take it to heart. There is a value in you that the enemy don't want you to see. That is why they don't want you to clean up. That is why they don't want you to get up. They want us in depression. I keep saying this word. Where we wake up in the morning, we just sit down, we are crying. Depression is an attack from the devil. When God has given us a happy life, the enemy will not come and bring things that will make us sad. It is from the devil. It is from the devil. And we can overcome it. You can overcome it. Don't stay down. Don't stay down because the enemy does not want you to be clean. Let your house be clean. Let your body be clean. If God bless you with money, clean your home if you cannot do it. Employ someone. Let them do it for you. Yes, stay clean. Stay clean. Because they are looking and monitoring your life, your home. Their eyes are there. Because they know you have value. So when you see that you can no longer stand up, to do what you are supposed to do. You start losing value. You are like, what value I am to this earth? <clears throat> what value? Met down. Somebody start having unnecessary met down. Don't give that devil the chance. <clears throat> Tell yourself you can't do it. It is not an easy thing. Every one of us is passing through something. You think it's easy for me to sit down here? As I'm speaking now, I'm feeling sleepy. Why, why don't I go and sleep? Because the enemy wants our hands to be folded. You think it's easy for a man of God to come at three times, two times, four times and be praying? It's not easy. They are human beings. They are humans. But it is sacrifice. You see people that open their business, they are there morning to night. Some of them will not even have says. The following day they will still go. It's not easy. But it is a sacrifice. You have to tell yourself. That you can, you can <clears throat> clean up. You can do it. Because they don't want you to stay clean up. It is very important that you should know that there is a very important value in you. That is what the enemy is fighting. There is a very important, I repeat that word, something very precious in you. When I saw that woman, I was like, wow. Look at the house. The room was very beautiful. How wish the room was arranged. <clears throat> Imagine there were no can of drinks and all the chips, the things. She ate everything, cartons of things. Everything on the floor. Imagine those things were not there. The bed was there. Even if it's just the bed, the house was cleaned up. The floor was mopped and the window was open. There is breeze coming in. She will sleep and she will relax. The devil deny people of their rest because he want them to stay depressed. He deny them of many things because he want them to live in regret. Child of God, hear me. They are watching your home. Don't allow them to push you to that level where you no longer see value in your life. Don't allow them to push you to the wall where you no longer see meaning in your life. Your life is meaningful. Whatsoever you can do to feel confidence in yourself, do it. And tell the Lord to give you the grace to do it. Because the Bible says, by strength shall no man prevail. He also said that he will have mercy upon us. So through the mercy and the grace of God, you can do it. Hallelujah. I pray for you that the Lord will give you the strength 
to step clean up in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.